God bless you, everyone. Dios les bendiga a todos ustedes. I just wanted to share something that was on my mind earlier. I actually recorded it earlier, um, but at the end you couldn't hear my voice, so I decided to do it again. Quería compartir algo con ustedes que que está en mi mente. Uh, de hecho, había grabado esto antes, pero uh, al final ya no se escuchaba mi voz, so decidí volver a, a grabarlo. And the thought that's in my head at this moment, with everything that we're seeing going on around the world, and, and just the sin that you see on a daily basis, um, because of a recent conversation or, that I heard from a, a friend and co-worker, um, I asked myself of those people that live in sin, and I'm not saying that I'm not a sinner, because I am a sinner, um, but I am a new child in God, in Christ, and so my, my desire is to not sin anymore, even though the flesh is weak, right? Uh, con todo lo que estamos viendo en el mundo, todo el pecado que se ve en todo lugar, y específicamente por una conversación que tuve con una amiga y compañera de trabajo, eh, y no estoy diciendo que yo no soy pecadora, ¿verdad? Pero gracias a Dios, ya soy una nueva criatura en Cristo. So mi deseo es no pecar más a pesar de verdad que nuestra carne es débil. And with that being said, um, my question, the, or, or my thought that I don't completely understand, is why on earth someone who knows that they're going to hell, and they say they know they're going to hell because of the sin, why on earth do you continue to sin? How is it that hell might be an appealing place to go to? El pensamiento, la pregunta que tengo en mi mente es por causa, verdad, de, de personas que dicen que saben que se van a ir al infierno. ¿Por qué siguen pecando? ¿Qué acaso el infierno es algo, algún lugar bonito para ir? And I don't understand it. I don't understand if you know that because of your simple life and ways and ideology, you're going to hell, why on earth would you want to go there? Let me tell you, the word of God tells us that that is not a pretty place. It is a place of torment. It's a place of constant burning and suffering. That even though you're dead, you will feel that torment and that fire all the time. Déjeme decirle, porque yo no entiendo el pensamiento de estas personas, o de usted quizás mente. Si usted sabe que está en pecado, ¿por qué sigue pecando? ¿Usted cree que el infierno es algo bonito, un lugar de paz? La palabra claramente nos dice que es un lugar de tormento, un lugar que está constantemente en llamas. Que aunque usted está muerto, usted va a sentir todo eso. So I just don't understand. I don't understand why on earth somebody who knows about hell or has the slightest idea about hell would want to go there. I'm telling you, if you would really repent and ask God for forgiveness, the Lord will forgive your sin and you will have a chance for eternal life in heaven with Christ. Déjeme decirle que si usted sinceramente se arrepentiera de su pecado, 
le pidiera perdón al Señor, Dios Todopoderoso, el Señor perdon, perdonaría su pecado y usted tendría vida eterna en el cielo con Jesús. But then, why is there so much sin? ¿Por qué hay tanto pecado? Déjeme decirle, el error más grande que tiene la humanidad, the biggest human error that causes everything else, que causa todo lo demás, es el vínculo de la familia quebrantada. It is the, the family that is broken. Yes, we are to love God before anyone else. We are to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And then everything else will fall into place. We would have no other sin if we love God and keep God first. And if you love your neighbor as yourself. Déjeme decirle que sí. Si usted ama a Dios, pues primeramente el primer mandamiento es amar a, a su Dios. Amén. Y el siguiente es amar a nuestro vecino, a nuestro prójimo como nos amamos a nosotros. Y de tal manera todo lo demás caerá en su lugar. O sea, que no habría otros pecados si usted ama a Dios y ama a su prójimo como a sí, a sí mismo. Y cuando yo digo la familia, el, el núcleo familiar que ha sido quebrantado. When I say that, that the family, you know, has been broken, okay? From there all other sins come from. Why? Because man decides that he is a coward and that he doesn't want the responsibility, does not want the commitment to be in marriage with his wife. Including women. Women can leave the, the home too. They don't take the marriage seriously. And they abandon their families as well. Digo el, el, el núcleo familiar porque hoy en día, ¿verdad? El, el, el hombre de la casa, el papá, el esposo, decide que no quiere la responsabilidad, no quiere uh, someterse a su esposa y tener solo una esposa. Y a veces la mujer también se va y deja la familia. When the family is broken, there is no one, uh, you might have one parent who, who decides to, you know what, I gotta, you know, raise my child, I have to work, or I have to get an education, and, and you know, become a successful person to raise a good family. But as long as you don't have God in that home, As long as you don't have a relationship with God, that child will grow up, I'm sorry to say, a bastard. Si, sea la persona que se, ha, se haya ido del hogar, cuando esa, esa otra persona, el otro padre o la madre que queda en, en, encargada de, de criar a sus hijos, de buscar trabajo, de sacar una carrera para mejorarla, las oportunidades de sus hijos, eh, pero mientras que no tienen a Dios, de nada sirve. Déjeme decirle, con, toda, con todo respeto, sus hijos salen a ser bastardos. And I have come to realize that a lot of the sin on this earth, such as adultery, prostitution, uh, crime, homosexuality, I'm pretty sure that the most cases of these sins is because they came from a broken home. Because maybe a child was sexually molested, or a teenager, or even an adult. Because someone was raped. And as children or as youth, we depend on our parents to protect us. But if the, there is a broken family, then that child had no protection. No matter who it was uh, taking care of you, if there was not a mom and a dad, that home is broken. There was no protection for this child, no matter how much that one parent did for their child. 
And because of, of no no protection from your father, no, you know, protection from your mother, whoever it may have been that left, you have grown to believe that you are an adulterer, you have become uh, homosexual, thinking that that is the, the right way, um, because a lot of people say love is love. Uh, you may think that you are a prostitute, or because somebody raped you, you know, you feel like you are unworthy. Si el padre o la madre faltan en el hogar. He venido a, a, a entender que muchas de las personas que están en pecado, sea adulterio, sea homosexualidad, sea prostitución o un criminal, estas personas están donde están por causa de que el hogar está quebrantado, la familia está desunida, porque el padre se fue o la madre se fue y quedó uno solo. Desafortunadamente ese hijo o hija quizás tuvo una experiencia de abuso sexual, de maltrato. Y como hijos nosotros buscamos que nuestros padres nos protejan. Aunque haya sido solo un padre o una madre que haya quedado, no es suficiente. Es necesario tener a mamá y a papá en el hogar para protegernos. Y por esa causa hay tanta, tanta maldad, tanta, tanto pecado. Estos jóvenes y jovencitas están creciendo creyendo que ellas son homosexuales o que ellas son prostitutas porque alguien abusó de ellas y las maltrató y las hizo sentir como que no tenían valor. And to you who is living a sinful life, I am talking to you tonight. I am telling you that the Lord loves you. He hates your sin. And I'm not condemning you, but the Word of God tells, does tell us who will enter heaven and who will not. Y yo quiero decirle a usted, a usted que me está escuchando, que está viviendo en pecado, yo quiero decirle que Dios le ama. Odia su pecado, pero le ama. Yo no lo estoy condenando. La palabra de Dios claramente dice quiénes van a entrar al cielo y quiénes no. So this time is for you to reflect, to come and think, and really set yourself free. Ask for forgiveness to the Lord. And forgive those who have hurt you, who have caused you to stray away from the, the path that the Lord has for you. The life that the Lord has for you. The purpose and the thoughts that he has for you, which are greater than ours. Because we think we know it all, but we don't. God's ways are better. Quiero que usted sepa que Dios le ama. Y que es tiempo de arrepentirse, que es tiempo de pedirle perdón al Señor. Y también de perdonar a la persona que le ha hecho daño. Para que usted sea libre, para seguir el camino que Dios quiere para usted. La vida, los pensamientos y el plan que Dios quiere para usted. No el de nosotros, porque nosotros, nuestros pensamientos no son buenos. Nuestros planes no son ideales. Los del Señor son perfectos. So you see, so you're living a sinful life and you know you're going to hell. If it's because you think that the Lord won't forgive you, you're wrong. Si usted está viviendo una vida de pecado y sabe que va a ir al infierno, pero piensa que el Señor no le va a perdonar por sus pecados, le voy a decir que está equivocado. God did not die on the cross, did not suffer before being crucified, did not be, uh, get that crown of thorns on his head and shed his blood so that you can continue to live that sinful life. No, he died so that you could be saved. So that you can have eternal life in heaven. 
He took your sins on that cross. He took your illnesses on the cross. It does not mean that we will not suffer. It does not mean that we will not be sick. It means that regardless of the situation, God loves you. And he wants you to submit to him. And he wants you to follow him. And to stay away from evil. El Señor no murió en esa cruz. No sufrió todo ese golpe que le dio el, 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 el pueblo. No sufrió la, esa corona de, de espinas. No derramó su sangre para que usted siga pecando. El Señor murió en esa cruz para que usted se arrepintiera y usted sea salvo. Y para que usted tenga vida eterna. Stop what you're doing. Reflect on your life. If you are living a sinful life, something or someone has caused that. And the enemy of our souls, who is the devil, continues to feed that. He continues to feed that and convince you that you're okay just the way you are. That it's okay that you're an adulterer. That it's okay that you sell your your body for money. That it's okay for you to go kill. That it's okay for you to lay with the same sex. Es tiempo de que de que reflexione. Algo o alguien le ha causado un daño a usted que lo tiene donde usted está y el enemigo le sigue llenando y le sigue llenando diciendo que usted está bien así. Que está bien si usted es un adúltero o una adúltera. Que usted está bien si es una prostituta, si usted vende su cuerpo por dinero. Que está bien que usted mate o que se acueste con una persona del mismo sexo. Esas son mentiras del diablo. Those are lies of the devil. He came to kill and destroy you. Él vino a matarlo y a destruirlo. A decirle que está bien que usted vaya al infierno. He came to tell you that it's okay, okay to go to hell. Repent. Seek the Lord. Ask him for forgiveness. And forgive those who harm, who have harmed you, and you shall be set free, and you will be a new creation. But you have to repent. You have to seek God. It is not okay to live a sinful life. It is not okay to go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. And most importantly, God did not create you to send you to hell. Arrepiéntase. Pídale perdón a Dios. Busque de Dios. Perdone a la persona que le ha causado daño. Yo no quiero que usted se vaya al infierno. Y más importante es que Dios no lo creó a usted para mandarlo al infierno. Deseo de todo corazón. Que un día nos podamos ver en el cielo y estar sentado a la mesa donde Cristo nos estará sirviendo, donde ya no habrá sufrimiento, donde solo habrá gozo y paz y no como la paz que ofrece el mundo. Dios le ama, Dios le ama, Dios le ama y si usted fue dañado, Dios no lo hizo con la intención de destruirlo. Dios no lo permitió para, para destruirlo. Dios permite las cosas para glorificar su nombre, para que usted se arrepienta, para que usted sea salvo. Y cuando el, el hombre lo vea, el mundo lo vea, pueda ver el cambio que Dios hace en su vida. 
Dios puede sacarlo del pecado. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. He does not want you to go to hell. God doesn't allow certain things to happen to us because He wants to destroy us. No. He does it or allows it so that His name could be glorified. So that through your testimony, because when you repent and you are saved, you can be a testimony to everyone else of how great God is. That even if we were sinners, the Lord can do something great in us. So we have to part ways with our sinful life. Tenemos que alejarnos, apartarnos de nuestra vida de pecado. I hope, I truly hope, that though this message might be a little hard for my fellow sinners, whom I love, who I'm not here to judge, but I'm not here to condone your sinful life either. I'm here to do the will of God. I was a sinner. I did a lot of things that I should not have done but that I can testify and say, God has taken me out of. You seeing me now is not the person I used to be. I am a new creation, and I want to do the will of God. And I want you to do the will of God, and I want you to be safe, and I want you to be here before uh, the people and say, this is what the Lord has done in my life, so that the name of God can be honored and praised and worshipped. Deseo de todo corazón que estas palabras, aunque quizás un poco duras, para mis hermanos pecadores, a los cuales amo, a los que no estoy condenando, y a los cuales deseo un día, verdad, poder ver aquí frente a la gente y decir, esto es lo que el Señor hizo por mi vida. The Lord has a plan for you. His thoughts are better than your own thoughts. He created you in His image. And I hope that you can become a child of God and that you may serve Him wholeheartedly. God bless you. Deseo de todo corazón que ustedes, verdad, acepten a Cristo en sus vidas. Que sean salvos. Amén y que se sometan al Señor. Yo les bendiga, les amo en el amor de Cristo. I love you in the love of Christ, and I hope that you may come out of that darkness that you're in. Deseo de todo corazón que salga de esa oscuridad en la que está. Dios les ama. I love you, I bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord find his uh, face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. El Señor le bendiga, le guarde, que le ilumine y lo guíe en todo momento. Dios le bendiga.